Coaster friends, today we will be talking about our thoughts on this new roller coaster opening in 2016 here at Six Flags Discovery Kingdom. So, do you mind? These are all my opinion about this ride, so please don't panic or anything like that. Don't put any dislikes because I might be wrong or I might be right. So, please don't put any. Uh, dislikes or hate, hate haters there because I'm here to put to think about the coaster how I love it and how good it is for the park to have so yeah and before we get started I gotta tell you a few things I've been busy over these days so sorry if I'm doing this late I'll try to do my best again next week about coasters I still have roller coaster, so yeah. So let's get through it. This coaster is called the Joker. It is actually being rebuilt to the coaster war. They're just stripping the track and making it a fantastic hybrid coaster. And this coaster is about. 300 or if I'm getting wrong 300,000 probably 300,000 200 feet of this track that's the length okay and the height is a hundred feet tall sorry speed it goes it's 53 53 miles per hour which is a pretty fast coaster on its average speed and the drop is 78 degrees, which is pretty steep. Tusa Colossus is a lot steeper than this one, but oh well. And this will be its second Rocket Mountain Construction roller coaster opening here in California. And it has been rumored, it was rumored that they're going to RMC the roar at Six Flags Discovery Kingdom so that's why they RMC it in Best Discovery Kingdom because of the rumors now people, some people, most people are specu were speculating it to come to Six Flags America however they rumored it here first because uh, a lot of people live in California so they want to RMC this one first because a lot of people now like Rocket Mountain construction under lo local winning, uh, local theme park. Now that being said, a lot of people still want this to be an RMC. So I believe this will be a good, a good coaster. However. Now since Six Flags Discovery Kingdom doesn't have a lineup anymore, they all have steel coasters. There's no more wood. They pro it is not a good idea, but however, it's still a good ride. But for me, this is an average coaster, so don't expect any. Don't expect anything. This is just average. And the only thing I don't like about the ride is is the supports. Well, it's, it's a light brown with purple and green track, which is making me vomit right now. Throw up. I just wish it's darker in, in person. And animation it shows it's lighter, so I'm kind of like almost throwing up now. But other, other than that, I love the, the color scheme of the track, the trains, and the name also love the layout too and notice this coaster flips upside down three times goes into a, a steep up twist whatever that that is and then it goes to a a, a, a top gun stall then, then it reaches a zero g roll so if you guys don't like 
flipping upside down then don't expect this to be an RMC just cry if you have to because some people don't like rides that flip you upside down but I do I love rides that flip you upside down you know because it feels like you're hanging you're, you're having hang time so this ride I'm not so crazy about it it's just that it's just an average coaster it's average so just just remember guys Six Flags Discovery Kingdom is not my home park Six Flags Magic Mountain is my home park so please don't say any bad stuff about it because this will have to retire other than that, I think we're off. So, so if, if you have anything to say, please comment in the box below, and please be, don't forget to hit the subscribe button below. Because then, if you don't, guess what? This channel will have to retire and leave. So. By the way, better luck next time, and we'll see you guys either tomorrow, because I'm planning on making a... Total Mayhem Thoughts. Um, you know, Total Mayhem Thoughts. So, anyways, bye.